According to the state, BWI Thurgood Marshall Airport saw over 2.6 million passengers pass through their gates in July. Among them, at least 63,000 passengers who needed assistance. To help them better, researchers at Morgan State are developing an autonomous wheelchair. It'll help passengers with disabilities independently move through the airport. Photojournalist Christy Harper went to BWI to take a look. You know that old story about the tortoise and the hare? Well, there are easy parallels to be drawn between that and our high-tech world. But what if some of that technology is being made to help those who move slower move better? I'm legally blind. Julie Terrell arrived this morning to visit family for the first time here in Baltimore. She's pretty independent, but unfamiliar airport? unfamiliar obstacles. If it's a larger airport, I have a wheelchair assist. She tells me it's easier than stopping constantly to ask people for directions, but the service isn't always efficient. I have to wait for a long time for somebody to be available. Now, transportation and electrical engineering students from Morgan State are testing their autonomous wheelchair to deliver passengers from parking lot to gate at BWI. They've been testing here for over a year. I think that's fantastic. I would try that. Um, it's a little daunting because I feel like somebody should be able to see. Enter the tech. The eyes take the form of QR coded tracks and LIDAR to navigate the busy halls. So we use this camera that is focused on the track. Dr. Kofi Niarko is in charge of the engineering side of this project and he explains. And it goes from one location to another based on an internal map sensing obstacles along the way. So it makes you independent and, and mobile. Dr. Mansoura Jehani directs the transportation engineering side of things. So let's see how it's doing. She says this is the third phase of the project. Tests in the campus lab were successful. Then came the real world. When we came here, there were so many different details, different lighting, shadowing, and different um, texture and colors of the floor and uh, reflection that it comes to the cameras and all that. Again, technology to the rescue. We do use machine learning, um, which is a form of artificial intelligence, and we have used the system's ability to collect lots of examples of what the guides look like under varying conditions and trained itself to distinguish what is the guideline and what is not the guideline. From here, the sky's the limit. And Dr. Jahani hopes to see others use this device elsewhere. We started from the airport, but it could be used in hospitals, in museums, any large buildings that is confusing where to go. And as for Julie, she says, let's go for it. Any help I can get, I appreciate. I can't imagine having to have done this 15 years ago. The next phase of the project is to practice full autonomous navigation in the airport's busiest locations. So next time you're flying through, watch out, an AI wheelchair may pass you by. At BWI, Christy Harper, WMAR 2 News.